everyone, this is Miss Anne here at the Warminster Township Free Library, and welcome to another super simple craft. Today, we're going to be making a super simple bunny mask. So let's get started. All right, let's talk about the supplies you're going to need for your bunny mask. So um, if you picked up a kit here at the library, it will have inside of it half of a paper plate. So that's a paper plate that was cut in half. It's going to have two cutouts that are kind of like if you took an oval that was really, really stretched out and cut them in half. So we have uh, two cutouts that are white and two cutouts that are pink. Uh, we gave you guys a pipe cleaner, two cotton balls, two googly eyes. What you're also going to need is white glue, because that's the preferred glue. You'll find out in a little bit why I say that. Uh, scissors and crayons or markers, whatever you have on hand. So let's go over the first step. So you'll see um, we have those two pink cutouts and those two white cutouts. Those are for the ears. You're going to glue the pink cutouts on top of the white. Um, so that way you're going to create the inner part of that bunny's ear. Uh, let me show you what that looks like on the next page. So that's what it's going to look like. You're going to take one piece of the pink and you're going to lay it on top of the other the one piece of the white so that way it creates uh what looks to be an inner ear and then the outer part of the ear where there might be the bunny's fur um so then with that now you have those two ears you're going to glue them directly onto your paper plate um where the ridges are so kind of that curved ridge par portion um i used this kind of purpley glue that you can kind of see in that picture however you want, might want to switch to Elmer's glue uh, or a white glue. Uh, it'll probably work a little better, though you might have to wait for it to dry a little bit uh, longer. Um, so, and be pretty generous with how much glue just and just to get it on there. And then you might want to squeeze it to make sure and like press it down pretty firm. Okay, so the next step, once you've gotten those uh, ears on, is now you're gonna glue, glue those uh, eyes onto it and I use that purple glue so you can see kind of where I put it put them um, and this is what it will look like once you've added the eyes onto the glue so now we're going to move on to the nose portion so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our pipe cleaner into four equal parts parents this is something you could do ahead of time um, and parental supervision is required if you're going to let your little ones uh, use scissors. So four equal parts, uh, about two inches or so um, in length. All right. And this is what the pipe cleaner should look like. Um, at the bottom, you see those four parts. Uh, so now we're going to move on to gluing down our nose because the pipe cleaners, the whiskers are the last step. Okay. So you're going to use um, whatever glue you have and you're going to glue down um, those two cotton balls next to each other underneath where you placed those eyes. So they should be kind of in the center of the paper plate um, at, at the very bottom. Um, so you glue those down. Uh, glue sticks are going to work just fine with um, any sort of cotton balls like that. Okay, so now you're going to be gluing on your whiskers. Um, so I started out using the craft glue stick, uh, but I started having some problems when I, you know, tried to see if it was drying. It kept falling off and I realized, oh, no, I made a mistake. I should have used a different kind of glue. So I ended up in the middle of the craft as I was doing it, switched from a glue stick to a white glue and I'll be honest it worked out so much better it really started to stick on there I did have to wait a few extra minutes to let it dry but it started to stay on there a lot better um, so I would definitely recommend you know if you have a white glue uh, making sure that's on hand um, so this is what it will look like at the end now it's your opportunity to decorate. So you, I had some crayons that I used, uh, but if you have markers, great. Crayons, fantastic. Glitter, absolutely. Now, fun fact, mix the glitter ahead of time, parents. Um, mix the glitter into 
that white glue or that Elmer's glue ahead of time. And then you can just paint, have your child paint it on. Uh, it'll save a lot of mess. Uh, it's what we do here at the library and it's uh, very mess free. Obviously you might have to clean up a little extra glue, but it won't leave a lot of glitter uh, trails everywhere. So that's an option if you want a shimmery or shiny bunny mask. Um, some other added on ideas. We didn't provide a craft stick. However, if you wanted to, you could put a craft stick at the one corner and kind of turn it into a masquerade kind of mask. Um, or you could forego the googly eyes all together and just cut out two circles in the center where we put our googly eyes. Um, that way they become little eye holes for the kids. And then you could just tie a string around um, either by gluing to the two sides or, you know, using a hole punch and then tying it. Um, that way it becomes a hand food body mask. Um, so these are some options that you could do at your house. We hope you guys enjoyed this super simple craft. Um, sky's the limit, so make sure to be creative. Send us any pictures of what you guys, guys made on our Facebook page. Um, and we hope to see you guys very soon here at the Warminster Library. Um, there we go. Be sure to like us on Facebook and on YouTube, and we'll see you guys very soon. Thanks, everyone.